Hey, yeah, I've got a dial combination lock here. It's a word lock. This is the package, and yep, you can choose words, um, three letter words instead of numbers. And on the back, it says it's shim proof, and I've tried to shim it, and I can't shim it, so that's cool. Um, not only that, but believe it or not, you can set your own combination when you put in the right code, pop the shackle, turn this, dial in your new combination, set it, put the shackle back, and hey presto, you've set your own combination on uh, on your dial padlock, which is pretty cool. Well, it is pretty cool, except if someone comes along to this lock and gets a screwdriver or coin and forces that down and turns this without first putting in the right combination, it stuffs the lock. It completely makes it inoperable. And I've tried this with, the instructions warn against this, and I also tried it with another one of these locks, and it's completely stuffed, and it's just completely inoperable. It just does not work, and I've tried all the combinations, every single one, and it took ages, and it was really boring, but it just does not open. But for this one, I haven't done that, and it's been set to a combination that I don't know, so what I'm going to do is try and open it and see how long it takes. Now, I can't shim it, so the only other way I'm going to try and get into this is to decode it. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to fast forward the boring bits, by the way, because this may take a long time. But first of all, there is a way to find out the last number, the third number. So I'm going to apply tension and just wiggle it. Now you see when I turn it a little bit uh, it gets stuck and you see how it's sort of got that much play from like nearly B to C and then I release the shackle, turn it a bit, tension the shackle again and it clicks in here and again it's about that same sort of play, about three quarters and I'm going to keep on going around about three quarters three quarters or less that's even less that K and that's even less that M and then it's not at, it's between N and Q. I've got a massive, massive play here. It doesn't want to come out of that while I tense in the shackle, but it's it's really big. It goes from nearly N to nearly Q. So that's like one, two, three, nearly three um, letters of play. That's massive. And so I believe the last number will be in between here, something like O or P. Okay, so if I carry on just to check the other ones, that's tight and R, tight and T, tight and V, tight and X, tight and Z, Z or Z if you're from America, and yep, so what did I say? It's the O and P that had the massive play, so that's my last number. So what I'm going to do now now that I've figured out the last number, I'm going to go, I'm going to turn it around a few times, I'm going to go to A, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is try different combinations of the first two numbers, and, and I'm going to end up on O or P as my last number. So if, if I try A, I've turned it to the right several times, ended up on A, so I turn it one for revolution and I'm going to say my second number is also A. I'm going to I'm going to go back to O or P. No, it doesn't open. Now instead of doing it all from from the first number again, I'm still on my second number, I'm still going to 
nudge that window of the wheel across and instead of going to B I'm going to go to C because the tolerance of this lock means I can try every second number so I'm going to go to C and then back to R and P so this method speeds it up a little bit so C E G Y and then um, I'm basically back to A again so it's not A so now I'll go to the next one I'm going to try C because it's two away from A going to Ivan P no E no Yes. You and it's open. Okay, so what I said was something like I U O or R U P. So if I scroll, if I just reset it, go back to I. One full turn round to I, and I said I went round to U to I, and then to that O P, and it opens. Okay, very interesting. That locking bar. Hmm. It is, I can manipulate it. I want to give it a go to shim it. Hmm, hopefully this is large enough. It's interesting how it opens from this side. Some of these dull locks open from this side. Hmm. Okay, so. If I try and stick it straight down. Um, hello, that was easy. Was that even locked? Let's try that again. Yeah, it mustn't have been locked because now I'm, I'm hitting on something and the shimmer's bending when I try and go deeper. Oh no managed to do it. <laughs> so when it says anti-shim, it's not anti-shim and you get into it really fast like I did twice just then. So it's not very good. Thanks.